Really? You picked the most awkward place. Really awkward place. Blankety blank. You really <laughs> did pick the most awkward place to get stuck in brambles. A storm, a storm a while ago blew this over. Oh, maybe she's, maybe if I chase her out this side, maybe she'll go. Ah, oh, I think it worked. Yes. She's still pulling some of it. You blankety blank blank, Aegis. Really? Yeah, well, I should think so. Oh, <laughs> and look what I missed. Who was silently saying nothing. Even more stuck. You were so stuck, you were invisible. Oh, you daft tart. You absolute, I mean, you're thick stuck in there. I have to go and get clippers to get you out. You're that stuck. How the heck did you do that? She's got her head through the fence and she's stuck by brambles. Okay, that's gonna require getting the um, pruning shears to prune the bramble to get to you. Great fun. Ah, so much for that. I tip this back over. <laughs> and little miss stuck in the hedge, you. You can see the brambles still in her place. Got out. So she was right in there. Head through eating the ivy. And, uh, well, they'll enjoy eating the ivy here. I've tipped this back over. So it's right side up. We're not getting any storms anytime soon. And uh, I filled the hay rack. So at least getting the shears made it easy to open the bale of hay. So I suppose that's one thing. So they're all here having some hay, including Miss Hedgestuck. <laughs> Giselle was the Hedgestuck yo, and one of these uh, half-breds. Honestly, you sometimes wonder, why do you farm sheep? Because I love the hardship. I guess that's what it is. I love the hardship. Isn't that right, you beautiful girl? What are you snuffling about, huh? What are you snuffling about? <laughs> Don't you get any ideas about going into hedges, please. You gave me enough trouble the other night with your early abortion. Okay, Hope? Do you hear me? Yeah, just eat hay. Don't go skit. You're stuck in fences somewhere. Or hedges. Or brambles. I'll tell you what. Brambles actually... They... Brambles are there both to prevent animals from eating them, but it's also to feed themselves. So that if an animal goes deep enough into the brambles and they get stuck, sadly, nature does its thing and they die and then they decompose and they feed the brambles. So you could say brambles are a carnivorous plant in trapping animals to decompose within their root realm and then they digest the food as it decomposes down to their roots. So you could say these are a temperate zone form of carnivorous plant. Because those brambles, the thorns on those brambles are quite significant. They're very deep. And if a, the more an animal struggles, the more it gets caught in the brambles, particularly if you're a woolly sheep. But I'd say that goes for any animal that decides to go further and further into a bramble bush to eat. They suddenly can't get out because like fish hooks, they're bent backwards to prevent escape. 
So, you escape death. Well, not you, Hope. Giselle escaped death. Death by bramble bush. Is that what we'll call it, Aggie? Hmm? Aggie and just a bit, who's feeling much better. Look at that. She's absolutely sound. This morning she was crippled with lameness on her front foot. And now she's walking practically soundly. Just goes to show what a little pruning of toes can do. Solve that problem.